can't wait to see what illusion you've come So you're thinking of upgrading your Instagram story. And that's a great idea and I'll be glad to help. And I suggest you keep watching this video if you really want to learn how to create and edit videos for Instagram stories on a Final Cut Pro. And you know, I've been thinking of increasing the quality of my Instagram stories. I know they are just the Snapchat ripoff, but Instagram just gives you a better experience, more options, such as enabling users to upload videos without making it look like they're irrelevant and outdated. Instead, the content flows smoothly and naturally with the content you create right in there with the help of the camera. Plus, all my friends are already on Instagram. So for all the Instagram stories content, I mainly use my iPhone SE, which is this camera, uh, the GoPro that I have recently fixed. If you have the same problem, you may watch over here how I did it. And I use the Final Cut Pro on, on a 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro. So let's just dive in into the MacBook screen and I'll show you how I edit stuff. So let's open Final Cut Pro. Here I have my previous project, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. You go to File, Start with an Event. I'm gonna name the event Instagram Stories Explainer. For the screen resolution, you will have to choose Custom from the drop down menu. I used to do this as Cut and Paste. But this is really an amount of pixels you don't need, especially knowing that Instagram will reuse it anyways. So I looked it up and it's better to do it in 900 by 1600. For the frames per second I would recommend 24 FPS but I'll go with 30 frames per second because it's not going to affect it too much and since the native iPhone frames per second is 30 okay press ok and you will see the canvas is now vertical let's actually rename the project to shot 1 as you may know that every Instagram story has the length of 15 seconds per post and you want to be inside of these boundaries here I have prepared my previous edit uh, since you don't want to see me edit everything right now in here I'll just cut and paste it here I made it 30 seconds before so now we will need to turn it into two 15 second shots you can just upload the same file twice since stories do not allow you to trim the video inside the app so I'll just split the edit on the 15th second and cut and paste it into a new project. Let's create the new project, by the way. Everything is the same as before. Format, resolution and just to stay consistent, we'll choose 30 frames per second. You need to cut everything above 15 seconds and cut. Double tap on the second project and paste it all here. Now you have two 15 second shots. If you have more shots, just create more projects with the same settings. That'll be it. Now when you finish editing, you just want to export. Choose master file. Here goes the fun part. You want to go to settings and choose web hosting since Instagram is a web hosting. Choose better quality dot H264. Press next button and save wherever you want it. I'll just dump it on my desktop. I'm gonna do the same with the second project. Next, save. So the first file has exported. Now here's the second shot. Now all I need to do is to transfer both videos from the Mac to the iPhone. I use AirDrop for that. So let's just select both files and right click. Go to Share, AirDrop, 
By the way, make sure your iPhone is in an airdrop friendly mode. I mean, turn on Wi Fi and Bluetooth and allow for Mac to see it. Now it's sending and boom. Files are on iPhone. The last step is to just post it on Instagram and see who watches your stuff. Let's in fact post it together. Go to Instagram stories, I'll swipe up, and there you see our newly made 15 second videos. Post this. Post that. And that's it. Hey everyone, I'm Zanzibi. I'm from Almaty, that's in Kazakhstan. Doesn't matter where you physically located. As long as you can create and be creative. I'm here to share stuff. Create stuff. <laughs> and do stuff. Well anyways, here's my story. Oh, and folks, if you haven't already, consider following me to see my stories every day. Rice and the So this is how you edit a video for Instagram stories on a Final Cut Pro 10. So, so consider following this channel and I might be doing more of this stuff later on. So why not have them in your feed, right? Okay, bye!